you're in an industry where you have those products that are all basically the same but they're not really. Sure the core of them is the same but you offer different colors, different sizes and if you order the big widget you can't have the little gizmo and if you have the big widget then you must have the medium thingy. So you're already thinking how do we manage this complexity? What does your business do now? Well you may have the catalog that has everything in it right. Well it was up to date the last time it was printed. And anyway, the emails to the salespeople with the latest update is etched in their memory. Among the sales targets, filling out expenses, and all the other pieces etched in their minds. And they are trained up with the knowledge of all the variations and rules about the big widget and the little gizmo and the medium thingy. All good. Until someone new starts or our people are on holiday. Anyway, not a problem, because you also have the spreadsheets and the databases and the forms to manage all these things. It might be hooked up with emails and conversations at the coffee machine. And there is a group of people who keep track of creating bombs for every new variation, allocating work to machines and people, ordering, delivering, and not to mention charging the right price. Oh, and of course, we do deliver the right order to the right customer. Now, this could be your organization, but maybe I've been a bit too harsh, and your systems are pretty good, your people are really good, and a fair proportion of the time, the customer gets what they want. But mistakes can be costly, and there are better ways to do these things. Okay, so if we really think about this for a minute, what makes our products complex? Well, yes, it's all the options and the rules, but that is only the surface. It is actually all the things we need to do to get the right product to the right customer at the agreed price and time. But even that is only half the story. We also need to do more with less. We need to be efficient. We need to keep track of materials, machines, bottlenecks, documents and changes. Not to mention that these days all this information may need to be reused and repurposed into mobile devices, web portals and B2B. So really, this is what our complex products are. It is the process, the integration and the transparency of data. Your business needs to manage this complexity well. If not, then your competitors will. Let's look at what we have to work with. What we really want to do is bring all the processes we have talked about, many of which are manual and off system, into the system. We want to put the knowledge in people's heads into the system. OK, let's hide all this and rethink it and rearrange it so we have a different view of things. Let's start with how we start looking at systemizing a complex product in SAP. To systemize a complex product, we are wanting to work out the logic and the rules so that when the salesperson selects options for the product, the SAP will automatically determine the bomb components and quantities, correct routings and times with little or no intervention as possible. As the modeler, we normally are working with two groups of people the sales and marketing group and the production and logistics group. Depending on the complexity of the organization, there could be a few people or many and a few or many modelers. The sales and marketing group typically have the catalogs and pricing and try to keep everyone up to date with changes in what is sold and options. We need this knowledge as one of the major inputs into our complex model. The production and logistics group know all about the components, the quantities, the machines, capacities and suppliers to manufacture or assemble a complex product. We need this knowledge as the other major input. As the modeler, your role is to bring these two pieces of knowledge and merge them together to systemize our complex product. How does SAP VC help us achieve this? The first step is creating a configurable material master. This tells SAP that this is a complex product and will be using variant configuration functionality. Next we consider what sort of complex product we have. Is it a multi-level bomb explosion? Is it configured to order, meaning that just by selecting options will completely define the complex product? Or is it a product where we want the comp components exploded into the sales order? and we pick the components at delivery time? Or is it not possible to completely define 
the product with the rules. In this case, we need to manually intervene. We decide which scenario we use in the configuration profile. A big task is defining what options we offer for our complex product. This can be colors, finishes, technical aspects, and can number in the hundreds in some products. We decide if some options will be filtered based on another, if options allow multiple values or single values. These are defined as characteristics and put into a container called a class. The class or classes are assigned to the configurable material. We can organize our options or characteristics into tabs and buttons in the sales order. This provides a logical way for the salesperson to select the product options they need and to speed up the order process. Meanwhile, on the production and logistics side, they are defining all the possible components and operations required to make a complex product. Instead of requiring many bombs, VC allows you to have a super bomb where only the required components are chosen based on the options selected. During the process of defining our complex product, it normally becomes clear there are rules and relationships. If you remember the gizmo thingy and widget at the beginning, we try to capture as much of this information as possible in tables. This is good practice as maintaining data in tables is easier than maintaining complex rules. Some tables will be used on the sales side, others on the production side, and in some cases in a bit of both. To make all this work, we define the rules and pieces of code. In most cases, the sales rules are defined and allocated to the configuration profile. The code for selecting components and operations and setting quantities and time are allocated in the BOM and the routing. SAP provides different types of methods called constraints, procedures, selection conditions and preconditions to perform the different sorts of rule requirements. So at a very high level, this is the foundation of how SAP handles complex products using variant configuration.